Tonight, a historic firehouse auctioned off as a future home. It was a competitive environment. Uh, this is a nice neighborhood up here. But years after the purchase, the new owner was cited for a code violation. Even though the property was advertised as a, quote, unique residential dwelling, the new owner was sued for using it as a residence. A little odd, yeah. huh? So now he is fighting back and told only Cairo 7's Amy Clancy about his four-year battle with the city of Seattle. This is the advertisement that grabbed Tom Crone's attention. A historic fire station, no longer in use by the city, up for auction in Seattle's Bryant neighborhood. It was marketed as a, quote, unique residential dwelling. Uh, we purchased the property in 2012, I believe it was, and thought we had essentially bought a residential property. For how much? Uh, $712,000. Crone did some interior remodeling. Uh, we've had a lot of family events here. And for more than three years, his extended family and friends used the firehouse for holidays, celebrations, charity fundraisers, graduation parties, and as an office until this land use notice of violation arrived in July of 2016. According to the city of Seattle's letter, a complaint about this property had been received. So a housing and zoning inspector investigated and found violations of the Seattle land use code. Crone was ordered to discontinue all unauthorized uses, including but not limited to office and residence because the legally established use of the property is as a public facility fire station. Because I thought it was sort of a joke when they said, well, it's still a fire station. I said, should I buy a truck? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is just crazy. You, you sell a residential property and then you tell me it's still a fire station. According to a civil lawsuit Crone recently filed, the 2016 letter was the first time the city had notified the Crone family that Fire Station 38 was not, as the city had represented, a residential dwelling. Crone was also sued by Seattle for alleged violations of city municipal code for using Fire Station 38 as something other than a fire station. They sued us. And what for was the For five hundred dollars a day. And how much would that equate to? Well, I think I saw a number someplace around four hundred thousand uh, dollars in arrears. The city's lawsuit was dropped after Crone hired land use and zoning attorney Clayton Graham to countersue. Now, after that separate lawsuit was filed, um, it appeared that people's attention was more focused on solving the permitting issue. Graham is now hoping to help his client recover at least the fifty to eighty thousand dollars Crone estimates he spent battling the city. If any seller sold a property as a residence and it couldn't be used as a residence, the buyer could could seek recourse for damages. Um, we're just trying to hold the city to the same standards that the rest of the community need to live by. Crone's complaint alleges the ad used to market Fire Station 38 was an intentional and negligent misrepresentation. Do you think the city of Seattle knew that it was being marketed as a residence or should have known before the auction process? The city hired a third party agent to help sell the property, but the city had supervisory control over that agent. Crone also claims his constitutional rights were violated by the city's investigator because the notice of violation was based on illegal and unconstitutional entries onto the property. It appears that someone may have come onto the property and peek through the windows before they could draw the conclusion that this was being used as an office or a residence. If this is the way the city of Seattle or other cities enforce their code by coming onto property with no consent and with no warrant, that's a major problem. I asked the Seattle Department of Construction and Inspections for an on-camera interview to discuss this case. I also asked the Seattle City Attorney's Office, and those requests were denied. Instead, a spokesman sent the following email. We're currently investigating the claims brought in this lawsuit and will then prepare a response to the allegations. Still investigating four months after Crone's lawsuit was filed. Amy Clancy, Cairo 7 News.